Okay, contents are quite simple, aren't they? Some ladder line, which needs to be twisted through 180 degrees. Um, the bracket for mounting. Um, the driven or directional elements, I would presume. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if you, I always thought that they had to decrease over the length of the boom. Well, the ZL Special has two driven elements, okay? Two, and one's obviously shorter than the other one. Well, it's not obvious. One is shorter than the other one. And so I'm presuming that is like that because of the offset phasing on these. Um, you've got one main director and then two sets of um, directors, uh, one set per per driven element. Damn fiendishly clever, these people, you know? Anyway, let's put it together. Right, there's one or two things I've noticed, okay. The first one, it don't fit, okay, it does not fit. So you're not gonna be able to put this ladder line into the connector. Secondly, on the, on the other one, you're supposed to have the ladder line twisted and two bits of coax going into it. Now, if you can't put this into the single hole, how are you supposed to put all three of them through this one? So I'm afraid there's a little bit of engineering required to make all of this work. Bingo. Oh, the light's awful here. Let's go and get some light in.
our main coax coming in, our tuning stub, and then our twisted window line single twist to the rear driven element. We have our matching stub, um, which probably trim back. Then we've got our feeder coax, which I've actually cut shorter than going direct feed to the radio. Put a an SO239 on the end. So I'll tape it to the, uh, to the center strut in a minute or the spacer. Right, next bit is to put the, uh, clear everything up uh, and put the directors on. Okie dokie. Here we go with the uh, completed antenna. And what I'm going to do is take all the dimensions for anyone that wants to build their own. Um, okay, so let's start. Beam length. Director number five. Director number four. Director number three, director number two, director number one. Small uh, folded diapo, large folded diapo. Center to center, the ladder line. The antenna comes with a quite a clever bracket. Um, you actually attach it to the pole first and tighten it down. Um, and then the, I keep it like so, the antenna can then go either horizontally or vertically polarized by simply switching it around and putting the plate on. Um, and then putting the rest of the bolts in. So it can, you know, you tighten, you tighten it to the post first and then the antenna is put on afterwards. Clever. The antenna to be vertically polarised. There you go, it's up at uh, due south. We'll see if, what it's like for SWR. So nothing's been cut apart from the ladder line to make it 10 inches. Uh, this is straight out of the packet as it comes. Let's go up a few bits. Four, four, five hundred, let's say. One point two. Let's try one four five on the nose. One point oh nine by five hundred. One point oh nine. So at uh, one forty six or just below. One point oh six. Perfect. Something that doesn't exist, which is a, a four meter, 70 and two meter beam. But I think I might end up having to build something like a, a quad, cubicle quad maybe, for four meters and six meters. 
I'm actually quite impressed because uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's front to back's quite good. Um, it uh, SWR'd straight out of the box. There was no need really to start trimming or cutting. Um, and uh, the assembly was very, very simple.